all right guys welcome to this brand new video tutorial in today's video tutorial i'm going to be talking about prophecy software and online betting platform and for the sport lover and if you want to invest in a sporting software this software is the best software to invest your money on so let me scroll down and read what this software does Prophecy is a betting management system. It can be used to guess the results of World Cup tournament matches in a kind of prediction. The players compete in guessing the correct results of some kind of match, soccer, cricket, baseball, basketball, or even yes or no question. Like, will Brazil win the next World Cup? At, at first, you start need to deposit for predicting. User will get interest follow by ratio, admin can control match, lock, unlock, ratio, update, question, option, and instantly where user does not need website to reload. Okay, so the way this uh, software works is, is just by simply predicting. As you can see from here, so the admin can set the, the the question like if uh, Brazil is going to win the next World Cup, so and anyone that want to place his or her bet can just start tipping yes they are going to win, no they are not going to win. So it's just it's just a prediction sporting software. Okay, so that is how it works. These are the user features. Betting is free. That's six plus automated payments method. Seven plus automated withdrawal method. Transaction locks. Deposit money. Deposit locks. Withdrawal payouts. Email, SMS, referral commission. And these are the admin the admin features. Here is it? These are all the supported payment gateway. It supports major payment gateway businesses needs like Stripe, uh, Flockter Wave, Paystack, Coinbase, Monify, uh, Paytm to check out and many other payment gateway here that supports cryptocurrency even though Binance is here. So these are the withdrawal method. You can withdraw via PayPal, Flockter Wave, Resort Pay, Perfect Money, Binance, Paystack, Coinbase, okay? All right, so that is everything you need to know about this software. And to get this software, go to the description of this video you are going to see the link to purchase this software okay so right now let me dive into the installation process in my cpanel i'm going to log into my cpanel right now and show you the step-by-step -step installation guide yes i'm inside my cpanel let me scroll down to my database that is going to be the first step i'm going to take so i'm going to open my SQL database wizard in a new tab to create a new database so my new data database name is scripts i'm going to use that same name to create my database user name scripts and password into copy i'm going to create my okay right here i'm going to copy 
the user database and data and username. I'm going to tick on all privileges and click on next step to complete the task. Okay. So the next step now is to go into my PHP my admin to upload my SQL file. I'm going to open I'm going to click and open my PHP my admin. And I'm going to select my database from the list of the database I have here, which is this first one. Okay, I'm going to click on import. Okay, right now I'm going to go to my desktop to where I downloaded my, my scripts. Don't forget to get the scripts. You need to go to the description of this video. The link is there. Once you click on the link, it's going to redirect you to where you're going to purchase this script. I have it here already. Here is the software. Let me extract it. Don't forget, the software is in a zip file. I'm going to extract it right now. After you are done extracting it, I'm going to open the folder. Okay. So let me go back to my PHP my admin. So I'm going to click on shoes. I'm going to my folder. Look at prophecy. And I'm going to open the SQL file. This is where you are going to import your SQL file. So select the install SQL file and open. After that, scroll down and I'm going to click on import to import my database into my PHP my admin. Okay, import has been successfully finished. I'm going to close this tab. Now, the next step right now is to scroll up and click on file manager. I'm going to scroll down and open the folder where I'm going to install the main file of the website. So this script.temidarabai.com is my root directory. This is where I want this website file to be accessed. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to click on upload to upload the project file. So I'm going to locate my folder where I extracted my my prophecy software. So this particular zip file, the project file, this is the one I'm going to upload inside the file manager. So I'm going to click on it and open this file to upload it into my file manager or my root directory. As you can see, this blue, this line is blue. So once it completes, it's going to take some seconds and turn to green. So please allow it to turn to green. Okay. So the download, the upload is is complete now. That is the reason it's showing green color. I'm going to close this tab and come back to my root directory. I'm going to refresh. So this is this is the project file I just upload. So I'm going to right click on it and extract this file. Don't forget this project file I uploaded from the from the script folder is in a is in a zip file. So we need to extract it. Right now I'm going to right click on it and extract it. Okay, I'm done extracting it. All right, the next step now is to open a new tab and call out my, my root directory. If you don't forget, let me take you back. 
remember this is my i told you this is my road directory script.demidjava.com so i'm going to open this same domain subdomain name in my browser so that i can finish the installation so here is it so after that if you cut out the the domain name or your main domain name so you are going to put slash install so once you type slash install you now press enter okay so the next step is to click on check requirements okay i met all this requirement that is the reason all this color you are seeing is green if i didn't meet the requirements it's going to be red that means you need to go to your you need to go and change your php version or you need to tick some options there that is disabled so everything is okay now i need to proceed by clicking check permission okay i did not meet the requirement for this permission I'm going to go back to my file manager. So what they're telling me now is I should open this folder, bootstrap slash cage. So the current permission it has is 050755. They, what they tell me now, I need to change it from this 0755 to 0775. So let's check bootstrap open it to see the cache folder so this is the cache folder so it's in 0755 we need to change it to 0775 okay so let me go back the second one is storage app so i also need to change the requirement to from 0755 to 07 Seven five storage app. So I'm going to change app framework and locks from zero seven five five to zero seven seven five. Once I'm done changing it from default permission to to the new part for to the require permission i'm going to check again to refresh as you can see now i've met up the requirements it has changed from red to green i need to set up my product all right here they are requesting for the purchase code so the purchase code i'm going to use here the purchase code is inside a test file. The purchase code is inside a test file. So you are going to see it inside. You are going to see it inside the, the zip file. Also, it's come along with the with the package. That is the the uh, verification code. I'm going to paste my purchase code inside this bus. I'm going to type in my email. I'm going to click on proceed. Okay, the project has been installed successfully. Right here, I'm going to continue to my to the home page. And here is the home page. This is the home page of my of my installation so this is how the home page looks like 
Okay, let me access the the admin section. Okay. For that, let me show you the login page on the sorry. This is how the login page looks like. On the registration page, this is how it looks like. Okay. So to access the admin, I'm going to put slash admin. So the, the login and password is admin admin. Okay. So here yeah, we are being instructed to set up the, the current job setup option. Okay, let me go back to my C panel. Set up the current job settings for you. So let me log in. Let me scroll down and locate the current jobs. I have some setup there before. Let me delete this. Okay. So to so send me email and updating match status and distribute best winner amount automatically. You need to set up current job in your server. Make sure your job is running properly. We cease to set the current job time as minimal as possible. So they're telling us to set up the current job time as minimal as possible. So the first one. I'm going to copy it. Command for email. We are being instructed to set up minimum time as possible. So I'm going to choose once per five minutes. I'm going to scroll down and paste the command here. I click on add new cron job. The second command, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to choose the settings. I'm going to choose once per five minutes because we're being inspired to choose as minimal minimal time as possible. So the third the third one, I'm going to copy the command settings. So that is it. That's how to add a cron job. So once you once you are through adding the cron job, you cannot go back to the to turn it off. You need to turn it off because if you don't turn it off, anytime you log into your admin dashboard, it will always pop up. So I'm going to turn it off by going to the basic control. I'm going to open it in a new tab to disable it. This is it cron job. Cron setup up up. So I'm going to switch it off and save it. Update it successfully. So let me refresh. I've switched it off. It won't pop up again. So this is how the dashboard looks like. So this is how it looks like. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Don't just watch the video and just move out. And if you're interested to get this software, I'm going to put a link in the description link. Click on that link and it's going to direct you to where to purchase the, the software. I'm giving the, the software at an half price, the developer is selling it. I'm not going to say the same amount the developer is selling it. I'm going to give you at an half price, okay? Please comment on the video. If there's anything you need to ask, like and share the video. And this is going to be the end of this video.